What's poppin' y'all? It's your girl Team Stacy, and I'm back with another YouTube video. And if you're new to my channel, hello. And a return subscriber, what's up? Only been a few hours, but it felt like days. Only been days, but it felt like months. Only gone for a year. Alrighty guys, so in today's video, we are going to be doing a chit chat get ready with me girl I'm giving y'all some inspiration some motivation Period I'm super excited guys. You guys know I love chit chitting chit chatting it up with you guys Sometimes I get really deep into like my tutorials, but I have to bring it back to a little get ready with me just so I could talk with you guys. So if you're interested in seeing how we achieve this beautiful half up half down and you're also interested in seeing how we slayed this face in under 25 minutes, keep on watching. You know the natural face gonna give. It's gonna give, but you know, we gotta put some makeup and we gotta get the wig together, period. So I have the wig halfway on. I did go ahead and put one layer of my ghost bond glue. I wanted this install to be very, very quick and very, very easy. This portion of the video is sponsored by Julia Hair. They did go ahead and send me this gorgeous 26 inch highlight curly wig, which is chef's kiss, super cute. It did come pre-plucked, which is always a plus. So let me show you guys. This is what the wig is looking like. Let's just go ahead and get her to sit where she needs to sit just get my mirror guys I need a handheld mirror so freaking bad Ooh, I don't like my hairline too far up but I definitely like it to be in front of my natural hairline but not too far cuz I ain't trying to hide too much forehead as you guys see how easily that laid down. Hold on, let me show you guys. Shout out to Julia's hair. So like I said, this wig did come pre-plugged, which but this I did go ahead and pluck a little bit more off camera. But this is so raw. This looks super duper good. Because I'm just gonna take a little bit of my um even lace spray, just a tiny bit. I'm gonna put on my finger, and this is just gonna help it like just melt down a little bit more. So I'm just gonna rub this down. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take their elastic band. I wish their elastic band had their name on it because I love Julia hair. Like their name is just so cute. I just love that name. I love it. Um, but I'm just gonna go ahead and tie this right on the front portion. So while this is laying down, you know, I love a cute side part moment. Yeah, and I love a nice middle part moment. Ooh, this hair is so cute, guys. I love it. Um I love both of those, however, I'm really feeling a half up, half down. Like, a cute half up, half down. I don't know if I wanna do like the slick, cause I already did that before. I'm thinking of doing just like a half up, half down, like real sleek. And honestly, I'm also thinking of doing it with like minimum product too, like just really natural, really soft, and just really pretty like <laughs> literally I'm thinking of doing that so I'm just gonna go ahead and just hot comb her because especially if we're not gonna do product in the front like this hair is like so smooth and slick you don't even need product maybe a little bit of the wax stick but nothing like too drastic like gel or like free spray or anything all right y'all so now I'm about to take off this scarf Ooh. Y'all, this thing was tight. I left it on for 10 minutes. You can go on a little bit longer, but honestly, 10 minutes is really all you need. You don't have to do too much. Hey, y'all, so now I'm about to just cut this lace off. Y'all. Mm, what lace is giving scalp is giving yeah yeah so I'm gonna just do that might be too much hair I'm pulling out but I'm just gonna literally pull out right before the middle part sideburns and pull these out too oh 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 Riley auto parts girl going All right, y'all, so I'm gonna go ahead and just do my edges real fast. I'm gonna speed it up. You guys can see what I'm doing. So let's go ahead and just turn the music up and y'all can just watch.
let me just put it I just love how this hair doesn't need any product like you would think I smoothed this down with product and I really did it and I love that so bad okay. Alrighty guys, so this is what the hair is looking like. This hair is super duper cute. I am gonna define it, but let me show you guys what it looks like, like big and fluffy. You guys see this density? Mm, super cute guys. This density is like really cool and it's just so raw. I love it so much. So I am gonna add a little bit of water, but not right now. Right now we're gonna get into the makeup part of things, which I'm super excited. So today is a get ready with me. So all the products will be down below in the description box, but I won't be just like showing everything that I do. So for today's glam though, I wanna do more of like a natural kind of vibe, but at the same time, I want like a little bit of eye work today, so. I don't know me lately I've been freestyling if you guys haven't watched my most um, my one of my makeup videos I'm gonna tag it right up here it's the purple brat soft glam um, with that video freestyled it I didn't know what I was gonna do and it just came together perfectly we're gonna figure it out I really do want to do gold though like this hair has like kind of like a gold vibe to it so I want to do like a pop of gold maybe a little brown but something really really easy nothing too crazy Alright guys, so now I'm gonna go ahead and get into the priming. So let me just update you guys of what's been going on with my life. Ah, I'm so excited. So guys, I've literally have just been working and working and working and working and working and working, working. Like I am so dedicated to you guys. Like I just wanna like reach my goal this year of 100,000 subscribers. I want that plaque. I'm gonna get that plaque this year. So like I've been working really, really hard on YouTube, which I hope you guys like appreciate it. You guys see like my efforts. Um, but then also just in general, like I just feel like, I just really want um, to be like a millionaire at this fucking point. With today's Get Ready With Me, I just kind of want to update you guys and let you guys know like, just like a few tips and like a bit of advice of how to be your own boss, how to be a hustler, how to get money, how to depend on yourself, how to grant all your wishes, how to be your own genie. That's what I want to talk to you guys about today. So as you guys know, and I kind of like mentioned this a little bit more recently. I feel like recently I kind of tell this story like a little bit more. When I was younger, like I didn't really have a lot of money. Like I didn't. I wasn't able to, I've always been a girly girl, but like I wasn't able to like kind of afford like to get my hair done as much as I wanted to get my hair done or to like buy makeup. Like I kid you not, you guys remember when like the Anastasia Beverly Hills glow kit first came out? I literally had to go on eBay. Like I couldn't afford $40 worth of, of highlighter. So like I would like go and try to like buy like the knockoff version because I just didn't have it. So like fast forward to where I am now, to like be able to work with these companies. I haven't worked with Anastasia Beverly Hills, which Anastasia Beverly Hills, if you are watching this video, I would love to work with you guys. I would love to promote your video, your stuff because your stuff is just so raw, period. But um, just like being where I'm at now, now makeup is like my job and I get to do it for fun and like it's not like a hassle. I really do like that. So what really got me to where I, I am and honestly I'm gonna be real with you guys I know a lot of you guys probably want to become content creators and you guys want to become your own boss and you guys want to work for yourself and you know do what you love and, and do what you you want and make it a job but here's the first thing I want to say you don't have to be a content creator whatever the case may be this goes for anything honestly let's say you kind of not sure what you want to do with your life you don't know what you want to do you're not sure if you want to be a content creator you don't know the first thing i can say is to figure out what your passion is is basically steve harvey taught me this what 
can you do the best with the least amount of effort? That's it right there. So for example, when I do makeup and I do makeup on my clients or I do makeup on myself, it really isn't hard for me. Like I don't have like I don't have a problem. Like some people makeup is just so challenging. Like they literally don't know like this from that. Like it just don't make sense to them. Like for me, makeup is art. So like to highlight and to contour the placement all makes sense to me like it just it just clicks for me so that's something that I do the best with the least amount of effort so another example of this would be I like to cook right but however cooking I like to do it but I wouldn't pursue that as a hobby because it's not my passion and the reason why is I can do it and I can do it well but it does take a lot of effort out of me you know some people they never use the measuring cup a day in their life they've never it just everything just came out pretty easy for them so that's something that they, they're probably a little bit more passionate about and that's something that they can turn into a profitable service so even if they don't become like a chef or a private chef or go to culinary school in Broward, I don't know where y'all from, but girls be selling plates. Like, that's a hustle in itself. It's really the first thing you wanna ask yourself. Like, what is something that I can do easily with the least amount of effort? And that's gonna kind of help you try to like figure out what your passion and what, you know, you wanna, you wanna monetize. So I think it's very, very important. A lot of people, like, they kind of, they know what their passion is, they know what their calling is, but they just don't monetize it. And it doesn't make any sense. I just feel like instead of working a job that you hate, instead of being a lawyer when you want to be a singer, like, monetize what you want to do because you'll, you'll be, you'll have more fun doing it. You'll be more happy. I'm using makeup as an example because, like, I love makeup. So it's like, for example, I offer makeup classes, which if you want to take my makeup class, you definitely should. Even if you're out of state, I offer online courses and everybody gets a makeup kit. Like I will ship it out to you if you are within the United States. So definitely check my description box down below if you want more information on that. Just monetizing yourself is just, it's just super smart. That's another thing that I need you guys to do. If you guys want to get your hustle up, start watching other people that kind of do what you want to do. Those people will motivate you. You need somebody to motivate you I have my favorite motivational speakers like Steve Harvey or Eric Thomas and people like that but like you also want to have people that's kind of like doing the same thing as you and that's really gonna help motivate you a lot of girls for example they want to become hair influencers I'm a hair influencer and I'm so grateful to become that but you know how I did that I did that by building my hustle and like just going hard with what I wanted to do and you could do that anybody could do it anybody anybody like this is not just like oh only certain girls get that opportunity or only if I lived in this state I forgot I don't know if you guys know Kyra I don't I think Kyra's from Wits Wits Wisconsin I, I never knew how to say that word Wisconsin Wis, Wisconsin <laughs> But Kyra's from like Wisconsin or something. I think that's where she's from. Somewhere like that. That place, that area, I don't, <laughs> I don't know. But I don't think that's popping. Like I don't really think like a lot of people are in that area. But look at her. Like she's so raw. Like she made it out of her city. I think she lives in Atlanta now. She like be in Miami sometimes. Like she, you know, you don't have to be in the perfect region. You don't have to wait to the perfect anything. Like you literally just you know work on your craft build your craft or whatever that is and you just run for it honestly being self-employed and being a hustler is not the easiest thing on the planet i can tell you that like it's not the easiest thing you have long nights late nights early mornings you have things that go well and things that don't you have videos, like for example, content creators. You're gonna have moments where you put so much effort into a video and you see your growth with your editing and you just see everything going so raw and you drop the video and it gets 20 views and you're gonna feel like, what the f But if you got that hustle in you, you're gonna post the next video and the next one and the next one and you're not gonna let that you know, stop you. I went through that. Y'all know my story. Y'all know I used to be grinding having so much content built up my external hard drive crash i lose everything and that stopped me i don't be like bump that i'm done i'm a 
go to Best Buy, drop another 200, buy an external hard drive, and record it again. That's really like what it takes. It just takes like a certain type of grit and a certain type of tenacity. And I promise you, y'all can have whatever y'all want. I love y'all so much. Like my subscribers, y'all my girls, y'all my family. Like, and I just want all of us to win. Cause I see myself in y'all, like literally. I remember watching Aaliyah J, watching um, Jackie Ina, watching like, these Patrick Star. I remember watching them and you know, wanting to learn how to do my makeup, wanting to learn how to like look like them, wanting to learn how to like be so raw. Like, um, I'm like, damn, I wanna do what they do. I wanna be a content creator. I wanna do this, I wanna do that. I was just a regular ass girl, you know what I'm saying? But I actually did it, and I know that y'all can do it. I believe in y'all. If nobody believes in y'all, just know Team Stacey believes in you, and that's all, period. I know some of y'all probably watching like, girl, do the makeup. Do the makeup. We don't want to hear all this, okay? Just love talking with you guys. Talking with you guys, I feel like y'all be motivated. I be motivating y'all, but y'all be motivating me. I be like, dang, let me listen to what I said. Let me let me, let me, me get myself together. Y'all, I, I grabbed the wrong bronzer. Ooh, I would've ruined my makeup today. Where's my bronzer? I grabbed Prodigy, I'm shade Phenom. But yes, guys, so I just have to breathe a little life into you guys. Another thing is you guys know, like some of you guys know, if you guys watch one of my girl talks, which I will link it down in the description box. I really want you guys to check that out because I was talking for real. I was giving it to you guys. But in that video, I was just talking to you guys about this book that I was reading and I started to read this book called Atomic Habits. So I don't know if you guys ever heard of Atomic Habits, but that book changed my freaking life changed my life that book atomic habits power of now those two books amazing let's talk about power of now first before i talk about <laughs> atomic habits and i'm gonna make it quick because some of you guys are probably like girl we're not about to sit here and do book reviews but listen so firstly power of now the reason why power of now changed my life is because i don't know if it was just me but Sometimes I didn't feel like I would be present in the moment and what I mean by that is like I could be talking to somebody and like I literally just don't feel like I'm in the moment I'm not in the now like and that could be part due to the fact that like I'm a businesswoman so it's like I'm always thinking about the next step I'm always thinking about okay what can I do next what can I do next I'm always thinking about the future but then also I would be kind of dwelling over my past a little bit like dang I should have did this or dang what happened with this person and what about this and what about so it really was like a, a back and forth kind of thing but even, even though I was back and forth one place I was never at was in the now so reading the power of now definitely helped me kind of like kind of get into the moment and I feel like it was so necessary because now I feel like my relationship with my friends and my family has improved so much because I could just be in the moment with them so when they're talking to me my mind is not really like 10,000 um planets away it's the reason why Atomic Habits is all was it's one of my game changing life changing books is because Healthy habits is the difference between me and Oprah. You know what I'm saying? It's just the habits we form. So what I liked about the book was the fact that it didn't just say, oh, to build healthy habits, this is what you have to do. That book actually was showing you what's going on in your brain. It's showing you like how to basically like What's the cheat code to your brain to start building a healthy habit? So someone can tell you, okay, if you want to become rich, you need to wake up at seven o'clock in the morning and you need to eat breakfast and you need to go to the gym and you need to do this and you need to do that. And in the moment, it's like everything sounds good and you might wake up at five in the morning and you might go to the gym and you might do this and you might do that. You might do everything, but you only did it for two weeks and then you fell off. So with the book, what I liked about it is it kind of like teaches you like how to like, basically decode your brain that's helped me tremendously so a few tips that i learned from the book which is kind of stuff that we probably already know but i just feel like it being re reiterated in the book it really helped me so for example like um not doing my um work in bed so your bed you when your brain sees your bed it's associated with sleep it's associated with peace it's associated with you know who saw the day's done so now when i'm opening my laptop and i'm editing in my bed there's this 
there's a there's a dysfunction now because that's not what this bed is for so now a couple of months later you're wondering why you can't sleep you're not getting a full night of sleep and it's because you now disturbed what once was supposed to be a you know relaxing kind of let go kind of thing the bed and now you you have merged it in with work that was also kind of why I wanted to like get my shop because I realized I was working from home so I was merging work with home and I would be in my bed editing and answering emails and doing this and doing that and it's like I had to figure out how to separate the two like you it, it's not good to have the two merged together like that um that book honestly was helping me like go to the gym a little bit more consistently and all of that good stuff but honestly I need to read that book again because your girl ain't been to the gym in a little minute which I need to go back. So I'm gonna go ahead and smoke out my bottom lash line. Lately with my makeup, I don't know what gotten into me, but you guys know like how we like conceal like the whole T-zone, like the forehead, the bridge of the nose, the under eye, under the mouth, and the chin. Lately, I've been skipping that step. Like I literally just conceal my under eye, and I just like that look. I feel like it looks more natural, like it just, so just to step up the look, because I love how this hair is like gold, I'm gonna go ahead and just take the Warrior palette from Juvia's Place, and the palette's beat up, girl, don't judge me, but I'm gonna go ahead and just take that gold shade, and I'm gonna put this right in my inner corner. Juvia's Place is just so raw, guys. Like, I really, really, really would love to work with them. They are so amazing. Their makeup is just so raw. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just heavily put that on my inner corner I just feel like it matches with um the hair so nicely because the hair is like this beautiful golden highlight unit and then with this paired with it it's just so pretty and then for lips I'm gonna take the NYX fortune cookie which oldie but a goldie you cannot beat that Wow, my face looks really, really flawless right now. And ooh, this lip combo, so fire. I knew it was gonna look really good with the hair. I don't know, I just knew it. I just feel like it needs that like bright, kind of like summer, spring kind of vibe. I'm just gonna take the Morphe Continuous Steady Spray and spray it up my face. All right guys, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and wet the hair. I'm not gonna wet it a lot, cause you guys know I love big hair. Like I just like the hair big. But the only reason why I ever even like wet my curly wigs is cause I know some of you guys wanna know what it looks like with the hair wet. So I'm just gonna wet it down just a little bit. I'm not gonna put a lot. If you wanna drench it, you can. I'm pretty sure you're gonna look beautiful with you know, super wet hair. But for me, this hair obviously has a lot of volume, as you can see. By the way, I'm gonna stop using the word obviously. I feel like obviously is a little rude, like. You guys can obviously, like that's just like a little bit, I don't know, I don't know, I'm, I don't know guys, you know, you know I'm a little weird. This is what the unit looks like when it's wet, super duper cute too, I love it. I'm more of a fan of the big hair, but this is also really cute. And I feel like I like that it's versatile because you can give it a different vibe. Also what I like about these curls is these curls are very different. They're not like this, the traditional boom, 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 boom. I don't know, it's like a little bit more wavier, which I think is super cute. So let me show you guys what the hair looks like from the back. It's probably a little a bit more dry in the back because I didn't spray it out too much but still very full and very freaking cute shout out to Julia hair okay make sure y'all shop Julia hair Alrighty guys, so that is the end of today's video. So in today's video, I wanted to, you know, chop it up with the girls, give the girls a little motivation today because I just feel like somebody needs to hear it. And I, and I just know that somebody, whatever we talked about, what we talked about today, it resonated with you. So um, that was pretty much it. In today's video, I wanted to install this unit that was sent to me by Julia's Hair. If you guys are interested in purchasing this unit, definitely check the description box below. I have my promo codes, purchasing links, everything that you need is up in there get your hands on this wig girl because highlight season is in peace
period okay if you guys want a detailed tutorial on this look definitely comment that down below but hopefully you guys were able to kind of grasp what i was doing with my makeup while watching me motivate you and uplift my beautiful beautiful subscribers i love you guys so much today's secret emoji is this go ahead and comment this down below comment this down below if you made it to this point in this video but also comment it two times if my message resonated with you period i love you guys so much and i cannot wait to see you guys in my next video bye guys